welcome to part two of this um, further maths solutions video. Um, so, so far, what do I think of the paper? I think it's a little bit harder than the ones I was doing yesterday, but I don't think it is, like, crazy difficult. Like, I think it's a bit harder. But anyway, I'm not even finished. I've still got, like, the hardest questions to do. Wait, did I miss a question? No. Okay, so let's keep going. So, we've got some triangles. We've got a 2 root 3, so it's definitely going to involve some 30 degrees and some 60 degrees. Um, work out the exact length of C to D. Okay, right. Um, let, this is going to be one of those where you work out B to C and you work out B to D and then you take away. Um, what should we do first? Let's do B to D first. So, I'm going to actually redraw this triangle but just A, B, D. So that's 2 root 3, that's 30. And I want this one, so that's H, A, O. So I'm going to use cos. So cos 30 equals B to D over 2 root 3. Um, so cos 30 is root 3 over 2. So I've got that, and times by 2 root 3, 2 root 3 root 3 over 2 equals BD. Okay, well that's going to cancel, it's going to cancel. Root 3 times root 3 is 3, so B to D is 3. Okay, now let's put that in a little bubble. Um, now let's do BC, so let's draw a separate triangle. 45, um, well, I don't know anything about this triangle, I know, I know that, oh, you know, I could work out AB from this triangle, should I do that? Let's do that. So AB is O, so I'm going to use sine, so sine of 30 is O over H. Sine 30 is a half. So times by 2 root 3, that's just going to give root 3. So AB is root 3. So this is triangle ABC. Okay, so then I want BC, so that's A H O. I'm going to use tan. Right, I'm going to use tan. Okay. Tan 45 equals O over A. Um, so tan 45 is 1. So B C equals root 3. Okay. So, C to D is going to be 3 minus root 3. Which, you might be like, oh no, but they had a plus, a minus, a minus. No, it's fine, because A and B are integers. So in your case, I mean, my case, B is minus 1, and A is 3. But I don't need to write that, you can just write that. Okay. That question, was that hard? It was it was long, I guess, for four marks, but I don't know if it was hard. Because it was just Sokotoa, really, to be honest. Hmm, this is long. The continuous curve, y equals f of x, has exactly three stationary points. The three stationary points are a minimum at a, b, where they're negative, okay, and then so it's got, let me just sketch, so it's got a minimum at some negative point. It's got a point of inflection at 0, 3. So it's going to do something like that. Okay. And then it's got a maximum where things are positive and higher than 3. So it's something like that. So it's got, that's an inflection, then that's a maximum... And that's the minimum. Okay, it's going to look like that. 
The curve cuts the x-axis at three distinct points. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, good. On the axis below, sketch the curve. Oh! Oh, you actually just... That was the question. Sketch the curve. Okay. So that is Q. That is P. That is R. Um, that's all I've got to do. Hmm. That's all right, isn't it? Isn't that okay? Um, here is a triangle. Sine x is 1 over root 12. Work out the value of y. So, I'm thinking sine rule. y over sine 120. Wait, what should I put on the top? Yeah, I should put y on the top. y over sine 120. Oh, okay, yeah. I know now why people were asking me about 120 um, this afternoon. Equals 6 over sine x. We know that sine x is 1 over root 12. Right, so hang on. Let's deal with the sine 120 first. Okay, so... That's not one of the ones we had to remember. But if I just do a cheeky sketch, that's 90. 120 is 30 away from 90. And it's symmetrical, so if I go 30 backwards, it's just going to be the same. So actually, sine of 60 and sine of 120 are the same. And sine of 60 is root 3 over 2. So I've got that. Got some ugly double decker fractions going on. So let's um let's well I don't even know. <laughs> um let's times this fraction by two over two like that. Let's times this fraction by root twelve over root twelve. Then, what am I trying to get? Y. So let's times everything by root 3. And then let's divide by 2. Okay. That's root 36, which is 6, so that's going to be 18. So Y is 18. Check that that makes sense. Uh, yeah, that looks plausible. I mean, if it was like 180, I would be thinking no, but it's, so it's not like, it wouldn't be crazy if that was 18. Okay, factorise this. Hmm, that's a bit of a nice question, isn't it? Question 17. Um, <laughs> I spoke too soon. Oh wait, no, it is going to factorise, I just put 5 here and 1 here. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. For a minute, I thought it was going to factorise with, like, fractions or thirds or something. Just to be stupid. But no, it looks okay. Um, yeah, so I'm just checking on the status of my previous videos uploading at the moment. 43%. Okay. Um, right, that's done. Hence or otherwise, you should always use it. If it says hence or otherwise, always use it. Work out the value of theta for which... Okay, can you see the relationship? So basically the same thing, but instead of x, this is sine. So I'm going to use this simplified version, but instead of x, I'm writing sine. So, sine theta equals negative a half, or sine theta equals negative five. Well, clearly that's not going to work, because sine only goes between 1 and minus 1, so there's no solutions there. But here, um, we don't have a calculator. Oh dear. Another sine graph here. We have to go negative. Um, inverse sine of negative a half. Okay, well that's going to be kind of similar to the inverse sine of a half, which I know is 30. 
So minus 30 makes sense, right? So that's minus 30. Um, but we're not allowed minus 30. It has to be between 0 and 360. So if I scooch along a bit, that's 180. So that would be 210. And then if I go across here, that's going to be 330, because it's 360 minus 30. So actually, you don't include that one. These are your answers. Last question. Simplify this fully. Okay, I need to rationalise. Um, so I'm going to times by the conjugate. And I learnt yesterday that you don't have to negate the third bit. You can negate the five bit instead. It doesn't make a difference. I didn't even know that. But you know what? This is how I've always done it. So this is how I'm going to do it. Oops, that's a five. So yeah, thank you to um, Husnain who pointed that out. Not the Husnain in year 10, if you're wondering. That would be really weird if he was correcting me on further maths, given he's only had one lesson of further maths. Um, okay. So 24 times minus, that's minus, um, 96, root 3, minus 120, plus, right, what's root 3 times root 300? That's root 900. Is that 30? Yeah, that's 30. So that's 4 times 30 plus 5 root 300. Maybe I should have simplified the root 300 first. Oh well. And then that times that is going to make minus 16 times 3. And then that times that and that times that are going to cancel and then I've got plus 25. So I've got minus 96 root 3 Oh, that's minus 120, that's plus 120, so they're going to go. I've got that. And I've got, is that minus 48 plus 25? I think that's 23. 23, okay. Hmm. It's always nice when you have a prime number as your denominator. It always fills you with confidence. Let's simplify the 300. So 10 is a square factor, so like that. Okay. Add these together then. Oh, oh, you know you've done it right. You know you've done it right when you end up with 46 and 23 because that's just too perfect. It's 2 root 3. And that says give it in that form, so that's good. So that's going to be right. Okay, my opinion on this paper. You know what? I actually think you were right. This paper is harder than the others. I thought you were, to be honest, I thought you were wrong. Because in my experience, students always come out of their exams, always, saying, Oh my gosh, that was the hardest paper ever. All the past papers were so easy. I was getting 95% on all of the past papers, I swear down. But the paper today was so difficult. Blah, blah, blah. And everyone always says this, right? So I'm just like, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. But inside I'm thinking like, no. <laughs> but actually, this paper, I think, was quite difficult. Compared to the ones I did yesterday, I think it was harder. Now, the good news is... This paper was not just harder for our class, okay? Because this paper has been done by everyone doing further maths in the whole country. Everyone. There's not even a different exam board, like only AQA does um, further maths. <clears throat> so, if you found it hard, and I found it kind of hard, right? Everyone in the country found it hard. So, grade boundaries go down. So there's nothing to worry about. As long as you tried your best, 
and you revised as much as you could, which you probably didn't, given that you have physics tomorrow and etc. But look, also, this is 75 marks. No, it's not. This is 70 marks. The one on Monday is 105 marks. It's worth more. Revise over the weekend. Look, it's physics tomorrow. Okay, revise physics today. Tomorrow, I mean, after physics, go and sleep. After you've slept, revise further math. Just just bang it out all weekend. So that's... that's I didn't mean it like that. I should cut that out. Just, right, revise all weekend. Um further maths really really put in as many hours you can because this is your last exam you really have to do you know it's like in a marathon when it's like those last few like last hundred meters you really have to sprint finish this you know and then as soon as your further maths exam is done on monday i think that's your last exam you know if that's not your last exam i'm sorry but further maths is usually the last but once that is done you know you can just relax you've got a long summer holiday you can sleep as much as you like, you can play as much league as you like, you can, you know, whatever. Just be very productive this weekend, okay, please, because if you think you did badly on this, however many marks you lost on this, you need to get those marks on Monday's paper, okay? Now, um, predictions of grade boundaries, I'm still going to say a half for an A. Is what I'm going to say. Because that's all I can say. 50% for an A. I'm going to say 65% for an A star. Something like that. 85% for an A star star maybe. I don't know. We'll see, okay? We'll see. Anyway. Um, I'll see you on Monday, I guess. Actually, you know what? No, I won't see you on Monday. I'm going to make... Well, I will. I'm going to make more videos this weekend. That doesn't mean I'm going to see you this weekend. But I'm going to make videos this weekend. So you'll see me this weekend. I'll see you on Monday. Unless you don't go to my school. In which case I'll never see you. Because that would be weird. Okay, anyway, bye.